While Americans are reacting and adjusting to the results of the midterm election, the attention of other countries is focused on how they can adjust the electoral system to accommodate their people and best practice democracy. Ini Thompson, visiting correspondent from our partner Channels TV, joined the tour of some delegates who observed the election. It's the midterm elections in the United States of America. While Americans are choosing their congressmen, other nations are watching. Representatives of 55 countries have come to monitor this election and take some lessons back home. About 160 of them, representing every continent of the world, have been grouped into batches to spread the tour. The first stop for bus one is a station in Arlington, Virginia, where voting is taking place in an elementary school. The election official, Alan Schneider, speaks to the group about a part of the process which makes the results trusted. The computerized results at the end of the day, when the polls close, we run a, a tape and shows what the immediate results are for this precinct. We call those in to our headquarters and they total ours with all the others so that the results are usually in around between 9 and 10 o'clock for the day. Politician Don Bayer, who is a candidate in the election, has also come to see the exercise and maximize the 10 minutes is given by law at every polling station. Voters want to be able to know that they can call us or email us or see us in their school or in their fundraiser or their home so that, they, that we will be responsive to their needs. Second stop is the polling station in Union Temple Baptist Church in D.C. area with a continuous flow of voters still closely observed by the delegates. We are seeing different types of uh, voting, uh, either electronic voting or touch screen or uh, using the ballot. And it's a very interesting uh, concept that we, we find. We have observed that the American system is a very stable system that has been uh, developed um, over many, many years and uh, that is also predicated on the principle of decentralization uh, to accommodate diversity. So much information for the delegates to take back home, but the core of the matter is making changes that will win the trust of their citizens in their electoral processes. Ini Thompson for VOA News. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.